7. A fair competition. Swifter, higher, and stronger stands for the spirit of the Olympics. But fairness is the basics of this motto. Only when you win fairly will you and your homeland deserve the great glory. But nowadays, unlike the ancient honest slave competitors, some hopeless athletes who can't bear the pain of training cheat when taking part in games. Medals seem to have magical powers causing them to cheat, and the prize money has replaced the motto as their only goal. So, in the gymnastics event to be held in our city next month, one of the host's responsibilities is to keep competitions fair. They advertise on posters outside the stadium to promise that every competitor is to have a regular physical examination in a gymnasium one after another. No one can bargain on this. The volunteers in charge will be very strict. It is foolish to cheat because they will not be admitted to compete and will even be fined as well. 7. A fair competition. Higher and stronger. The spirit of the Olympics. But fairness is the... Of this. Only when you win fairly will you and your... The great... But... Unlike the... Honest, some, who can't bear the, of training cheat when, games, seem to have, power causing them to cheat, and the prize money has, the motto as their only goal. So, in the, event to be held in our city next month, one of the, is to keep competitions fair. They, on, outside the, to promise that every competitor is to have a, examination in a, no one can, on this, the, will be very strict. It is, to cheat because they will not be, to, and will even be, seven, a fair competition. Swifter, higher, and stronger stands for the spirit of the Olympics. But fairness is the basics of this motto. Only when you win fairly will you and your homeland deserve the great glory. But nowadays, unlike the ancient honest slave competitors, some hopeless athletes who can't bear the pain of training cheat when taking part in games. Medals seem to have magical powers causing them to cheat, and the prize money has replaced the motto as their only goal. So, in the gymnastics event to be held in our city next month, one of the host's responsibilities is to keep competitions fair. They advertise on posters outside the stadium to promise that every competitor is to have a regular physical examination in a gymnasium one after another. No one can bargain on this. The volunteers in charge will be very strict. It is foolish to cheat because they will not be admitted to compete and will even be fined as well. 7. A fair competition. Swifter, higher, and stronger stands for the spirit of the Olympics. But fairness is the basics of this motto. Only when you win fairly will you and your homeland deserve the great glory. But nowadays, unlike the ancient honest slave competitors, some hopeless athletes who can't bear the pain of training cheat when taking part in games. Medals seem to have magical powers causing them to cheat, and the prize money has replaced the motto as their only goal. So, in the gymnastics event to be held in our city next month, one of the host's responsibilities is to keep competitions fair. They advertise on posters outside the stadium to promise that every competitor is to have a regular physical examination in a gymnasium one after another. No one can bargain on this. The volunteers in charge will be very strict. It is foolish to cheat because they will not be admitted to compete and will even be fined as well. 6. A Brave Maid a wooden vase from the Ming Dynasty at the entrance of the reception hall amazed everyone. The artist designed it in a rare style and selected valuable jewels to decorate it. People thought highly of its fancy color of honey and its beautiful paintings on it. The vase used to belong to a formal castle, but when the country was at war, the country's troops exploded the castle. Debates on how the vase survived went on and on in order to remove people's doubts, a team of no less than 20 people carried out an informal investigation. The evidence they found showed that a maid took the vase apart and asked the sailor to sink it in an ocean well. She never gave away the secret even under the cruel trial 
of the enemies who were in search of treasures. It is worth giving this brave maid a fortune in return. 5. The Great President As the founder of the Republic, the President had many good qualities. Before coming to power, he was a generous lawyer. He was willing to selfishly help everyone who turned to him. He accepted no fee to offer legal guidance and opinions to those who were out of work or uneducated. Later, believing all mankind to be equal, he devoted himself to stopping the unfair anti-black laws. He set up the Black Youth League and was voted to be the leader. However, though he kept peaceful principles without violence and terror, his mean enemy still blew up his house and attacked his relatives, and he himself couldn't escape being sentenced to 30 years in prison. Not fearing of the prison guards' cruelty, he kept active and begging no mercy from them. As a matter of fact, he was always hopeful and never lost heart during this stage even though he was in trouble. Finally, many rewarded him with the leader's position and a gold blanket. 3. A Hard Trip My sister was fond of traveling. Ever since graduating, she has been determined to organize a trip to an old temple. Since transporting fare was expensive, she decided to use a bicycle to cycle there, not caring about the disadvantages. Her stubborn attitude was always her shortcomings. Once she made up her mind to do something, no one could persuade her to change her mind. Finally, we gave in as usual, though we preferred to take a train. After we prepared everything, including the schedule, reliable weather forecast, and the insurance, we began our trip. The journey was along a river flowing from a high altitude. Our pace was slow because the river frequently had many sharp bends through deep valleys, where the water seemed to boil just as recorded in my journal. It was really a hard journey, but we also enjoyed great views. One night, I put my head on my pillow, a parcel of wood, coats, and lay beneath the stars. When the flame in the front of our cave went out at midnight, I found the sky so beautiful.